Okay, so I'm going to work on the little uh, hen buffle head, and uh, I've used some different watercolor pencils and created little swatches to just double check. Sometimes it's hard to tell what color is going to be what. This one is uh, this color here. It's a little bit kind of a bluish gray. Um, this one is this kind of reddish brown. And then these two are uh, these. this one is this color and this one is this color. So it's good to do a little swatch uh, just to double check and make sure that it is the color that you want. And then uh, we're going to start adding some details. I'm going to start with the eye. And you want it nice and sharp. Double check that the paper isn't wet where you're going to be leaning your and Okay, so do you see how um, I'm building up shading and colors based on the reference photo that I took and, um, and then adding uh, areas of detail by looking at additional references um, so that I can get you know, the shape of the eye correct uh, even though I can't see it on here. Now I'm going to add a little bit more shading to uh, the drake. Now um, I want to point out a couple of things. If this were completely transparent watercolor, I could only put um, the darkness of the shadow that is uh, actually going to be in the finished product. But because I'm working with gouache, I can make the shadow a little bit darker and then I can add white on top of that and it just kind of creates a nice back and forth and uh, a really rich end result. Okay, so now I'm going to let that dry for a bit. Okay, so now we're just working on the details and refining 
uh, each little area a little bit further. So we're going to be building up with uh, dark tones and then we're also going to be uh, adding some, uh, some light ones. So I'm going to just refine a couple of these areas to help certain parts of the duck's faces and overall forms kind of stand out. So my main focus here is detail and cleaning up any little areas that are not really very um, precise. I'm using that uh, kind of dark uh, bluish gray that I made mi by mixing uh, brown with those various tones of blue, hues of blue. I'm adding a little bit more of the brown to it. I'm going to do the same thing with the drake, mixing a little bit more of that really, really dark bluish gray or almost black. Okay, so that's going to be the dark uh, details right now, and um, we might add a few more, but first we're going to start adding some light highlights in different areas. Okay, so I've mixed some white with uh, some of the kind of warm brown. It's kind of a yellowish brown, and I'm just I'm not gonna touch my brush very firmly.
Okay, so that is the process, and um, you can really use that process for any kind of wildlife, not just uh, birds of different types.